Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Because sometimes, no matter how much we think we know what we don't think we know, you may know something that the person sitting next to you, they don't know. You may have some information that they can benefit from. They might not know that. And if you can't even have a rapport with people, talking people nicely, smile at them, talk, you can't give anybody any information. You can't get no dollar like that. Nobody's taking that. He always mad. I ain't, he can't, he ain't, I know he ain't talking to me. He barely gives me salams when I walk. He barely looks at me when I walk past him. Now you want to tell me something? You know how we are. He won't even look at me when I walk by him. Now he got the nerve to want to correct me about my salat. And that's where it takes us. It takes us to that type of approach. Tayyip. It says, An Atta radiwa'an fi qawlihi ta'ala. Atta said about, and this is Surah Al-Baqarah, I-83. Allah said, وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ husna." Allah said, and speak nicely or say something good to the people. Right? Say something good to the people. Which people, y'all? All of them? Or just the Muslims? Huh? Or just the, or, or just the Sunni Muslims? Or just the Salafi. Only say good stuff to the Salafi. What does the verse mean? Huh? Atta. We know who Atta is. We know who Atta is. These are people of Tafsir. Early men of Tafsir. People who explain the Quran. He said, Qala linnas kulluhum. To all of the people. You say you speak good to everybody. Right? He went further. He said, Al mushrik wa ghayruhu. You speak good to the one who worships other than Allah, right? And anybody else. Not just the Muslims speak good to the Muslim. You speak good to everybody, according to the verse. According to what Allah said. I don't know what the Shaykh, according to what Allah said, right? In Surah Al-Baqarah, verse, 180, uh, verse uh, 83, speak good to the people. Say something nice. Yes. He said, what about the nation of Islam, brothers, when they give you salam? Should we salam them back? Since you said that, let's see what Ibn Abbas anhuma, says about that. Number one, why are you asking that question, Shaykh? They come to the barbershop. They come to the barbershop. Number one, why are we talking about giving them salams, though, specifically? Well, what's the problem with them? Are they even are they even Muslims? They're not considered they're not Muslims. Okay, so now the question is, if a non-Muslim gives you salams, that's the question. That's the question. It don't matter if the nation of Islam, a Christian, a, a non-Muslim gives you salams. He says, do you respond? Do you salam them back? Huh? Yes. No. Yes. Shaykh says no. Let's, let's say you for sure. You sure they're not Muslim? Huh? Well, let's see what Ibn Abbas says about it. We know who Ibn Abbas is, right? What's famous about Ibn Abbas? Before that, he's a Sahaba. He's a companion. And specifically from the Sahaba, he's the one who the Prophet ﷺ made dua. To have understanding of the Quran, the verses in the Quran. Ayy. Ibn Abbas, it says, An Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhuma, qala. Ibn Abbas said, Man salama alayk, min khalkillah, fardud alay, wa in kana majusiyan. He said, Whoever gives you the salams from the creation of Allah, return the salams, even if they were a fire worshiper. He said, ذَلِكَ لِأَنَّ اللَّهَ يَسْتَدِلْ He's bringing the lil. You ready? He said, that's because Allah said, 
is in Surah An-Nisa, verse 86. Now, Ibn Abbas is giving a Dalil about what he just said. He's a companion bringing Dalil. Because, you know, if we ask each other for Dalil, we get offended. We supposed to take what you're saying just because me and you, Farrell, or we are, right, or you've been around, you've been Muslim longer than me. So whatever you say, I'm supposed to take it. And if I, if I ask you where, where, what part of the little, where, where is that, you kind of get offended. Ibn Abbas says, based on the verse in Surah Tanisa, verse 86, Allah said, وَإِذَا حُيِّتُمْ بِتَحِيَّةٍ فَحَيُّ بِأَحْسَنَ مِنْهَا أَوْ رُدُّوهَا Are you saying to the cancer? Oh, no, nah, they need the mic. They want the mic. Allah said, and if you are greeted with a greeting, then return the greeting with something that is better than what that was given to you, or at least what they said to you. Now, a lot of people take the hadith when the woman didn't give the salams. We're talking about somebody who says the salams. Salamu alaikum. We're not talking about somebody who says, death be upon you. We're not talking about those people. We're talking about the person who comes and says, salamu alaikum. Right? That's what this is referring to. It's not referring to the person in the hadith when they said to the Prophet ﷺ when Aisha anha was there and they said, death be upon you. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a person comes, they're not Muslim, they say, Salaam Alaikum. As Ibn Abbas said, if somebody, he used the verse that you return it was equal or, or better. Yes. Well now, well now we know, we know why we can do that. Surah Tanisa, right? Surah Tanisa, verse 86 is the verse that Ibn Abbas radiallahu may used. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump. 